William Paxton was born May 17, 1955, in Fort Worth, Texas. When he was in seventh grade, Paxton contracted rheumatic fever, which kept him bedridden for months and caused lasting heart damage. Paxton was eight years old when he appeared in this iconic photo, which was taken as he watched then-President John F. Kennedy leave the Hotel Texas on the morning of his assassination on November 22, 1963. After graduating from Arlington Heights High School, Paxton moved to Los Angeles seeking stardom and finding jobs as a production assistant and set dresser for Roger Corman's New World Pictures Company. At 21, Paxton moved to New York City and enrolled at New York University, where he studied with famed acting teacher Stella Adler. He left the school two years later and returned to L.A., where he landed small parts in two films directed by now-famous blockbuster director James Cameron, Terminator and Hello. Aliens. Go out there and patch in manual. Oh, yeah, sure. With those things running around, you can count me out. Yeah, I guess we can just count you out. A of man of many talents, Paxton also formed a band, Martini Ranch, for whom James Cameron directed the music video, Reach. In addition to appearing in his own music video, Paxton starred in Pat Benatar's Shadows of the Night, for which the ever-dedicated actor learned German. A year after appearing in John Hughes' Weird Science, the iconic director offered Paxton a small role in Ferris Bueller's Day Off, which Paxton declined. Hughes never offered him a role again. In 1987, Paxton married his second wife, Louise Newberry, with whom he had two children. As the 1980s progressed, Paxton found himself more and more in demand, and by the 1990s, he was landing lead roles in major pictures, such as Apollo 13, Tombstone, and the blockbuster that made Storm Chasing Cool, Twister. In 2001, Paxton directed and starred in Frailty. You see him, look at him. He's dead because you have no faith. Do you understand what you made me do? You made me commit murder. In 2006, Paxton landed the role that made him a television star as the head of a polygamist family in HBO's Big Love. Before I go any further, I want to introduce myself to you. I'm Bill Henriksen, and I believe in the principle of plural marriage. The role earned him three Golden Globe nominations. In 2012, Paxton received an Emmy nomination for his work in the miniseries The Hatfields and McCoys. In 2016, Paxton's career was still going strong. He was cast to star in a television series based on the film Training Day. However, although the 61-year-old actor seemed unstoppable, on February 25, 2017, Bill Paxton's fans were stunned to learn that he had died suddenly following complications from heart surgery. In a touching tribute, storm chasers across the country used their spotter network markers to make Paxton's initials across parts of Kansas and Oklahoma. Paxton, known as an affable, good-natured actor, had that rare Hollywood quality that made him believable in almost every role, whether he played a menacing villain or the hard-working everyman, where he excelled. Many of us felt like we knew him and found ourselves naturally smiling and settling into our couches to watch his performances. Over his 36-year career, Bill Paxton made us shriek, laugh, jump, or just scratch our heads. He always kept us guessing. His tragic and sudden death left a huge void in the hearts of his fans and friends.
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to like this video. Please click the bell to be notified of new videos.